Hi, thank you for joining us again today. Um, today we will be discussing about balance and uh, how that can help um, us all, you know, and also too, it's very important as you age. Uh, most people don't realize that, but when we age, the number one complication um, or the number one cause of death is due to uh, complications from falls uh, that people have from fracturing the hips and so on, you know. So, um, so again, balance is not just good for, for young people, but you know, it's very, very crucial as we age. Um, so we're going to go through just two basic exercises I want you guys to be doing. Um, so the first one is really, you know, simple. Um, it's pretty much a, a variation of the, of the same exercise. Uh, what we want you guys to do is just do a single leg lift, and all you all you want to do is again, you can again. Most people will keep their right leg straight or the leg that's downward locked. I want you guys to bend that a little bit to use some strength in your quads to so trying to fight against your balance. Okay, and that's the key here is to hold as long as you can. Now again, if you're wavering and you're falling and your balance is off, you know, then you always put your foot down to kind of tap and try to, you know, keep upright, right? But the key is, again, is trying to get that stable as much as you can. Uh, of course, you always want to do on both legs. Uh, once you get that, um, once you become more advanced at doing that, and typically we want you guys to hold that for up to a minute. Now, if someone who's older and you're trying to do that and you can only do it for two or three, uh, seconds or you can only do it for 20 or 30 seconds so on again get a chair in front of you we always want you guys to have some support okay so and again that helps you to try to cheat so if you are faltering you can tap just don't give up and don't try to put your foot down you know if you can't help it you can use the chair to tap and so on just trying to keep you up uh, keep yourself upright uh, once you become more um, efficient at doing that way you can hold that for a minute and repeat it you know two or three times then you can progress into the more advanced one. Uh, and this one here, um, again, you're gonna do, be doing the same thing, but it's good to have a spotter next to you, so have your spouse or your loved one to help you out. And again, you're gonna be doing the same thing, you're gonna lift your leg up, hold it. Now this time, what you wanna do is you wanna do, you do wanna close your eyes. And when you do close your eyes, you know, closing your eyes will take out one of your main components, um, which um, helps us keep our balance, which is, you know, a visual, you know, um, uh, sensory. Um, aspect of seeing and knowing where you are. So as soon as you take that out, it actually makes it harder for us to try to concentrate to, um, uh, for our body to concentrate to keep us in an upright position. But just to recap that again, um, balance, you know, I always tell people has, you know, has two parts. One is of course, you know, with regard to the whole balance, you know, mechanism. But the second part that most people don't talk about is that you need to have strength in your legs. Okay, it's very, very crucial. A lot of times we see a lot of patients have um, balance issues because they have atrophy in their legs as they get older or they have weakness in their legs due to knee or hip issues. So again, if you do have knee or hip issues, you wanna get those you know, um, figured out um, by your doctors, you know, to the appropriate doctors or therapists and get that fixed. And then you can start to think about how to strengthen um, your legs up to help with balance. Because it doesn't do any good to think about balance when you have knee or hip issues and you have lack of strength and, all, and also have pain with it too. So thank you for joining us and please uh, subscribe. And if you guys have any other questions, uh, please uh, let us know and uh, we'll help you guys out. Thank you.